On the 18th of November 1987, at King's Cross Underground Station, around 7.30 in the evening, a fire broke out on the wooden escalators leading from the Piccadilly line. As a result of that fire, about 15 minutes later, a flashover occurred, which led to the death of 31 people and 100 other people being seriously injured. British Transport Police and Fire Brigade and other emergency services were on scene that night and helped to save people who were affected by the incident. Seven British Transport Police officers were subsequently uh, honoured by Her Majesty the Queen for their gallant actions that night. And the subsequent public inquiry changed the nature of the underground as we know it. But when I arrived at the scene, the first thing that struck me was, was the smell um, uh, uh, and the devastation and uh, a number of uh, clearly exhausted fire, uh, fire officers and police officers uh, working to save people. There was a sense of um, foreboding as well because it was known at that stage that uh, one of our colleagues from the London Fire Brigade had been killed in the incident. And so people were pretty down but determined to deal with the tragedy that had unfolded that evening. So as we approach the 30 year anniversary, I guess there are a number of emotions. So um, I, I can remember as if it were yesterday, the events on that night here. And my part was very small compared to those of others who were actually in the seat of the fire dealing with it. So I can imagine how they must be feeling and the memories that are coming back from them. But I just imagine what it must be like for the families of people who, who lost people for the family of uh, Station Officer Townsend as, as they look back, for the families of the many people, innocent people who are here and who lost their lives and of course were terribly injured. And it's easy for us, I think, to kind of move on to the next major incident, but that sticks with people for a lifetime. And that must be pretty raw for them. And it's important that we recognise that. And certainly within BTP, we're looking at what support we need to put in place for people who were involved 30 years ago.